What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we are going to be fitting a brand new filter system into the Goldfish Mega Tank. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. Please make sure you are following us on Instagram for all of the latest updates and sneak peeks at early information on the fish, the tank, and just my fish journey in general. Now today we are gonna be fitting a brand new filtration system onto the Goldfish Mega Tank. In the last video, you would have seen that we did the update on our Aranda that we did the surgery on, and we also removed all of the sand, 80 to 100 kilos of sand, out of the bottom of the tank, removed the lily, and did a massive water change and a big clean on the filter. Now, in that video, I did explain why I was doing this and why I'm changing the tank. Number one, because I want to grow a green carpet algae throughout the whole of the tank. Number two, the sand was building up with too much detritus. These fish are absolutely huge and the sand was causing lots of detritus buildup, which I believe was contributing to the nitrates and phosphates within the water. Unfortunately, on the water subject of the water lily, unfortunately, the goldfish just started to take a liking to it and Nero especially started smashing it to pieces. So we put that outside in the Japanese Top View Ranchu tank. Now, many of you may say, this is the wrong move. I wouldn't have done it like this. I preferred it with the lily, with the sand. It gave the goldfish lots of natural behaviors, gave them something to sift through, look for food. However, I believe, as I mentioned in the last video, for the longevity of this tank and fish, this is gonna be, unfortunately, the way to go. Really minimalistic tank, nowhere for the waste and detritus to hide, easy to clean, clean and easy to maintain. And also, I think once we can get that green carpet algae to grow across the bottom, I think it's gonna look absolutely great. So without further ado, I'm gonna head over to the filtration section now. I'm gonna show you what currently it looks like, and then we're gonna to get to installing our brand new pieces of equipment. Here you can see the tank a little bit cloudy still, even after the water change, and I'm just gonna show you the current filtration setup for those of you who do not know. So normally I have a piece of filter fleece on top of these sponges, but I've decided to remove that and I'm just gonna be using the sponges as it saves me throwing away so much filter fleece. So the water first goes through two courses of sponges, a fine and a medium, and then down through all of that biomedia before it is returned via the airlift system, which is within a pipe on the right hand side. I have ceramic rings, ceramic balls, alpha grog, buy a home there is around 30 to 35 kilos of media in that section and it is also run by this Hallier 25 watt 30 liter per minute air pump which drives air up a tube and returns the water back into the tank now today i'm going to be fitting this 25 watt yamitsu algae master uv light from cockney koi we're going to be plumbing it into the brand new filter system that i'm going to be installing and this is hopefully going to clear up the filter so as you can see, I've now installed that filter system. I was going to film me doing it, but I decided I needed to focus and really concentrate on all of the plumbing. You can see the pump pumps that all the way down into the UV. Now this UV is going to provide a huge amount of clarification, clarification to the water because it is meant for ponds much, much bigger than this tank. So it's going to help keep it super crystal clear, free from algae and bacteria. Then the water goes back up this pipe. Sorry for the mismatch of colors. They are the only uh, elbows and straights that I had, but the white elbows kind of matching with the wallpaper paint or the wall paint, I should say, and also the windowsill. But I'm going to be hiding this with a plant and then it returns out of this pipe, as you can see here, back into the tank. Now, there is a pump at the bottom of all of that biomedia, which is rated at 2,500 litres per hour. So that's turning this tank over approximately once every hour and 35 minutes. However, I think I'm going to make a much, much bigger flow rate, or I'm going to provide a much, much bigger flow rate. You'll also see that I have them on the echo dot timers and this means that i can turn them on and off when i want and 
I just speak to my Alexa and it turns on or off my pump. So that is the system set up. The pump is underneath all of that biomedia and I have it with a rubber boot connector. So it means I can change that pump on and off as I please, nice and simple, or add a slightly larger pump, which I think I'm going to do to increase the flow rate as the goldfish seem absolutely happy and healthy with the current flow rate. And you can see just how clear that water is. So that is the brand new filter installed in the tank. And as you can see, the tank is really, really clearing up. I'm really, really happy with the result of the bare bottom. And the filter system has actually been fitted for 24 hours now. And I actually did that yesterday, fitted it all up, all went to plan, which was really good. And that UV has made a huge difference on the water clarity. Now I will bring the camera closer in just a second to show you the fish and show you how clear that water is getting. And I think in around three to four days, we are gonna achieve that crystal clear water. That UV is gonna minimize the amount of free floating bacteria and algae within the water. It's gonna mean the water is kept in pristine condition. And when I do my water changes, as we now have the bare bottom, I'll just be able to siphon off any waste on the bottom clean out the sponges and make sure the water and the amount of detritus that is within that water is kept to a minimum, removing as much waste from the tank as possible. So I'm absolutely stoked with the system and I absolutely love it. Now we just need to get that green carpet hair algae to grow. Now I did mention in the last video a few of the pros and cons to going bare bottom and why I decided to remove all of the sand and the lily because a lot of you may have said, wow, that was a huge rash decision. You made that decision very quickly and they, you guys at home maybe were not expecting it. So I thought in this video, now let me just cover a few of the positives and negatives to it and why I've actually done that. Obviously, if you haven't watched the last video, please go and check it out. So firstly, as you will have known, the fish that I performed the surgery on, which is now named Rambo because he has survived it and he is a sort of tough warrior and he is doing so much better from that surgery. You'll notice he had the abscess in that surgery video that I removed, but he has recovered now. And when I, after I did that surgery, the water started to get a little bit cloudy. He had been a little bit lethargic as well. And over the course of, I would say about five to seven days, I undenied about what I should do with the tank, whether I should just put an external UV on it, leave it as it was. When I was doing my water changes, I noticed quite a bit of detritus was kicking up and the fish was spawning quite often and lots of detritus was coming out of the sand, even though I was hoovering it. And that is because the sand was around one and a half inches deep. So there was a lot of sand within the tank. And I thought, now this is giving the fish lots of naturalistic behaviors. They are really enjoying that substrate. They're being able to sift through food. They have a bit of enrichment. They also have the water lily in the middle, which they can spawn on. They can rummage through, they can swim through. And I was hoping that as it grew throughout the tank, it would provide a really nice un underwater jungle for the fish and provide them a lot of enrichment. So there was that factor to it. However, on the flip side, the water was starting to go green, which meant I couldn't see the fish very much. And if this was an outdoor pond and I was really just trying to grow on these fish, then I wouldn't be too fussed. However, this is a central feature in my home. I love looking at these fish all day long. So I wanna make sure that water is as clear as possible. I love taking videos and photos of them. So I wanna make sure they look nice in the pictures as well. And I really wanna enjoy the fish. I wanna see them. I'm not fussed about growing them very quickly. I just want to enjoy them as the pets they are within my home. But not only that, the water was getting quite cloudy and I was a little bit worried about any bacterial or the green water problems that I may occur stripping oxygen out of the water. And also, as I mentioned, the bacterial problems, which the UV would hopefully solve. So I thought about combining the two together, removing the substrate, adding this UV system and providing a little bit more flow throughout the tank. 
because the tank didn't have a huge amount of flow and that is best for fancy goldfish but it also meant I had a low turnover rate within the filter so the filter wasn't being able to push all of that dirt and detritus around the tank and collect it into the mechanical section of the filter. So now I've increased the flow through the filter so I believe we are filtering at a much higher rate removing that physical detritus before it sets, settles on the bottom but now even if it does settle on, on the bottom that pump is going to slowly keep it in suspension pick it up off the bottom and then it will be filtered out with the mechanical filtration. Now if I want to clean the bottom as well all I need to do is put my siphon at the bottom go round, hoover everything up, it is very, very quick and it also means my water changes are less labour intensive so I am more likely to do them because they are far easier to do. It also means I can keep the tank much cleaner, keep the water quality in much better condition and I can also actually start to increase the amount of food that these fish get because I will know how dirty the tank is getting. So they are the reasons why I decided to go for the bare bottom approach. I've done the bare bottom approach in the past and I've also done a few tanks with the sand bottom and I believe they both have their pros and cons. But now we've discussed the pros and the cons to it and why I've actually done that as I previously mentioned in the last video and this video, I am also going to be growing the green carpet algae which I think is going to look absolutely amazing. I would say it's probably going to take two to three months, hopefully not too much longer than that to get full coverage across the bottom. It is also going to provide the fish a natural food. They're going to be able to graze on that algae all day. It is high in fiber and high in nutrients and is a great complement to their pellet and frozen food and gel food diet. I've also already got the green carpet algae growing on the back of the glass and on the filter so I already have the algae within the system and now I just need to make sure the water is kept nice and clear so the light can penetrate to the bottom of the tank and start to grow that new green carpet algae which is going to hide all of those spots of silicon that you can see on the tank so please bear with me the tank may not look very good for the next month month and a half worth of videos but i'm really hoping after that the tank will really come into its own and it will really look quite special if we can get an, a large thick grass like effect on the bottom of the tank with the bright colored fish adding a few more fish to the tank as well i think it's going to look really really good but it is a sort of long-term goal so that is it for this video hopefully you enjoyed seeing the new filter system be fitted to the tank if you do have any questions on it or if you do have any queries please let me know down in that comment section below if you think i did the right or the wrong thing for the fish then please also let me know but as always i want to make sure the fish's health is kept at an optimal condition and that is why i chose to purchase the new system to fit onto the tank but that is the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.